welcome to the manganese ACAC lab for chemistry 410. Um, so to start we um, need a source of manganese to make this complex and of course we're going to use potassium permanganate which we've got this bottle right here and I've already weighed out uh, half a gram for us to use. Take it off the balance here. And we'll go over here where I already have uh, some water here stirring. We'll just add the potassium permanganate to the water. And then we'll stir that and heat it a little bit to ensure that it all dissolves. And we'll be back when that is done. Okay, so the potassium permanganate has dissolved. Um, I've turned the heat off already. It uh, really didn't need any of the heat though. It dissolves pretty readily in this much water. So um, let's just take it off the stirring for a minute and let this cool. And this should cool pretty quickly. And I'll bring this back when we're ready to um, add the acetyl acetone. Okay, so the potassium permanganate solution is dissolved, and now I've got it here on this hot plate, or uh, in the ice bath here to um, cool down to room temperature. So we're going to go ahead and turn the stirring up on that so we can add the uh, acetyl acetone, or 2,4-pentane dione, as it's properly called. So I've got two milliliters of 2,4-pentane dione here in this uh, graduated cylinder, and I'm going to add it here slowly to this solution up. Passing for manganese. We'll do this in a couple of aliquots here so we don't have it over foam and cause us any problems. <clears throat> we might be able to get away with adding it all. Yep, could add all of it. Excellent. So we've got all that added. It's definitely brown now, no longer purple. And we'll turn up our heat, bring that to a boil, and uh, we'll boil that for five minutes and then put it back in our ice bath. So we'll bring us back when we got this in the ice bath, I think. So here's the solution after boiling for five minutes. Uh, just brown, there's sort of some chunks floating around in there, but anyway, so I'm gonna just remove the stir bar here. Just to save having to do that later. And then we'll be back when we're ready to filter. So I've got our solution here from the ice bath, and we're going to now filter off the solid. So again, uh, as you may have seen already, filter flask here, we'll clamp that up. It's always important to clamp up your filter flasks. We'll attach a hose here from the um, vacuum port of our hood. And now I've got a fritted funnel and a little gasket, fit those in. Turn the yellow knob over here, and it starts pulling the vacuum on our funnel. So, you can kind of swirl up your solution, it helps suspend the solid that you're trying to pour out. There's a bit more in there. Go get a spatula. And Scrape some of this out of our flask, or our beaker here.
solid here around to help it dry. So after we let this dry, we would weigh it and collect it, and then we would move on to the, the uh, NMR uh, portion of this lab. So, so I thought I would show that we can, uh, how much product we collect here. So I've got a weigh boat teared out on the balance. Just take it over here. One of these paper towel. And we can just scrape our nice round crystals here. It's kind of fluffy though, so. Well, it looks like right around one gram. So, all right, we can move on to the next part. So for the Evans method test, we need to make a capillary tube containing our solvent. So I'm gonna show how that's done now. We'll take one of these thin glass um, melting point capillary tubes and syringe with our solvent and a needle that fits in the capillary tube makes this quite a bit easier. Just push a little bit of solvent into the capillary tube. Might have to flick it still to get it to go down to the bottom. Tap it maybe as well. Careful doing this. Needles, you don't poke yourself. There, that should be enough solvent. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so then I'm going to grip it. a little bit of tension as I put this into the flame and right on the tip here and once it starts to melt we want to kind of twist it a little bit glass will start to melt and droop once it does that grasp the glass and pull pull the glass and it should kind of seal and then break at some point and we'll leave a little wisp of um, glass behind Take it and tip it, double check that it is sealed. It looks like it is. And then we can use, drop this into our NMR tube and use it for our Evans method measurements. So now to prepare our sample of the manganese ACAC with the um, capillary tube we just made. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate that now. So we've got the capillary tube first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually just drop that into our NMR tube. And we want that so that the um, portion of the solvent is at the bottom. Set that aside for now. All right, then we need to measure out um, precisely an amount of our manganese ACAC between two and five milligrams. We'll just do that into this file here. So there we have um, 4.6 milligrams, so we'll need to record that mass, and you need to make sure to record it to as many um, places as you can from the balance. All right, so now that we have that, 
we need to measure out our solvent. So I've got here chloroform, deuterate chloroform. And we're gonna measure that out with this syringe that has some pretty fine graduations on it. And we need about 700 microliters, so that'll be 0 .0, the 0 0.7 here. And we'll actually look at the mark and be sure to record um, to the uh, next decimal place after the seven here, how many milliliters or microliters we have. stop getting bubbles coming out the end here. I think we're there. So from this it looks like I have 0 0.073 uh, milliliters. So that's what I would that's the number I would want to record. So we'll take our compound off of the balance push our solvent into the vial here. Make sure it dissolves. We're in a MAR tube with our capillary in it already. Pull up our solution out of the vial. All right, and it's important that our capillary tube isn't floating above the solution. We wanna make sure that the um, pulse goes through both the solution containing the manganese ACAC and the separated solvent in the capillary. And then to finish it off, we would add an NMR tube cap. And there would be our completed sample for the Evans method.